Holly and I'm super excited because I have an FO, a finished object, and I'm wearing it. I'm super excited, you guys. So this is a knitted project. This is the Sock Head Cowl on Ravelry, which is a free pattern. Um, so I totally think you should get this. So first off, they had done the Sock Head Hat. And then they made this cowl, too, because some people wanted a cowl. Basically, you know, if you guys buy these um, skeins of fingering weight yarn, sometimes you buy that, like, ridiculously awesome one skein, and you have absolutely no idea what to make with it? Well, this takes one skein from start to finish. The idea of this is to use an entire skein. And I did mine. Um, so I'm going to tell you what I made it out of first, and then we're gonna, I'll take it off, I'll show you, I'll talk to you all about it. So I made it with... Where's the tag? Here it is. Gnome Acres, which she does not dye yarn anymore. This was gifted to me by my friend Jennifer in Ohio. I love it so much. It's not normally my colors, but I'm absolutely loving it. Um, and it's no place like Gnome. It's on her house Gnome base, which is 75% Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon. And there was 460 yards. Um, I will show you the tag. Again, she does not dye anymore. So you might be able to get some stuff on somebody's D stash, but she doesn't have it. Now, 460 yards. And I don't know how many yards this little wad here is, but I have this left, you guys. This, this is it. This little pinch of yarn is what I have left. There is about two to three grams. My scale keeps jumping between two and three, so I don't know. So I technically could have done another row or two if I wanted to use this up but I didn't know at the time how long my ribbing would take because I anyways I'll tell you all about that so I could have used this and it would have been even less but I have about two grams left I did this on my clover circular or 16 inch circulars number three knitting needles that's what the pattern called for so that's what I did I did not swatch because that didn't really matter to me um and here it is I'm going to take it off and I'll show you. So here it is. This is it. Nice and long. Look at the colors on this, you guys. It's called Gnome Place Like Home. I wonder, is it is it a reference to um, The Wizard of Oz? No Place Like Home? Like there's the red and the yellow and the... I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. If somebody knows, please comment down below. To me, it kind of looks like a crayon box got melted, which I love. Okay, so the pattern, and I can talk a little more about this pattern because it is free than I could some that are paid for. The pattern calls for you to do um, so much ribbing, then just knit in the round, so you're just knitting stockinette in the round, down, and then do ribbing at the bottom. They called for four inches of ribbing. I didn't want that. I just, it was too much ribbing. So I did um, ten rows of ribbing, which I find to be just perfect. And you guys, look at this. I have never done ribbing before and it looks pretty good. I think this is my starting area, which I've got to work on the look of that. But the rest of it looks good, right? So excited about that. And then my stockinette, oh my gosh, look, the stitches look good, you guys. Look at that. I'm so proud of myself. I'm getting better as a knitter. So I just did 10 rows because I didn't want a big thick. Um, and I think this, I'm using my wrist ruler. This is about an inch and a half instead of the four inches. So I didn't want the four inches. So I did it with an inch and a half. And I'm so happy with it. I love it. Um, they do have you do a stretchy cast on, which was a little tricky. I had... My son is outside beating something with a stick because I'm not filming a video. <laughs> but anyways, um, what was I saying? talking about that. Casting on. Oh, the cast on. Thank you, darling. Um, I've only ever done a long tail cast on. I don't know how to do any other cast on. Long tail's all I know. So I had to watch a video, which was fine. I did. And I, I got it. It was fun. Now I will tell you the problem with something like this is you cast on a ton of stitches, which you're just casting on and casting on. And that's annoying. But once you get a cast on, everything is smooth especially when you get past the ribbing so it's a two by two ribbing you could probably substitute for whatever kind of ribbing you like um it's just knitting you just go round and round and round and round and round now what you need to do is weigh your yarn before you start knit however much ribbing you want weigh it again so then you know how much to use for the end i did not do that i forgot so what i ended up doing is i start knitting and I'm like, oh no, I have no idea how much to save for the end. What I did was I knit 
I stopped, I waited, I knit like five rows, I waited again, and it was just under a gram a row I was doing, so I just saved 10 grams, which I actually had two to three left over, so I could have did more. But that was my fault for not properly weighing my project before I got started. Okay, so then you just keep knitting round and round, and when you get to the end, you do your ribbing again, and you do what they call a super stretchy cast off. I hate the super stretchy cast off. <laughs> One, you can kind of see that my project flares, I got a little looser gauge when I got down toward there. I really did. But then you can see here, really bad. It's really kind of stretched out down here. It's really quite stretched out. So I did too loose of a gauge on my ribbing, and then the super stretchy bind off made it even looser. Um, again, that's my fault, not the pattern's fault. I did it wrong. I think I need to go down a needle size when I do ribbing, and then I don't know that I do the super stretchy. Because my only other complaint about this pattern, because I love this pattern, let me be clear, is it's big. See how wide this is? And again, maybe it was me. Maybe I knit too loose and I should just go down a size. It's not the pattern. The pattern is great. It's written great. I love it. But for me, let me put it back on and I'm going to show you. So I just put the side that's that I don't like, the bottom side, toward the bottom. And what I do is once I get it on, I just take, because see it flares out, it looks crazy. I just take it, I roll that under. And nobody even sees it, okay? It's cute. Love it. The thing I don't like, I have a very narrow neck. So this is not a problem for everybody else who makes this pattern. This is literally just a holly problem. A very narrow neck. So see how this drapes? Like, I this could drape down to there. Look at that. I don't want that. I literally want it to sit like this. See? Tight. Up around my neck like that. That's what I want. So I, um, I'm going to just make adjust adjustments for me personally. Uh, I already have a skein of yarn I want to make the next one with. I have a feeling I'm just going to make a bunch of these because now it's time to talk about the pattern and how awesome it is. You, you literally just knit in a circle, round and round, until you run out of yarn. Done. And you could even not do the ribbing. You could literally just start knitting and go. But you have to worry... Um, a uh, stockinette that doesn't have a ribbing will roll up on itself. But if you're okay with that look... You could just knit it. You don't even need to do the ribbing. It would just be fine. You could just knit until you run out of yarn. And look at this. Now this one was like a crazy speckle. Sorry, I'm covering my mouth. But like if you had some of those ones that are kind of stripey but not really, you would get cool like color pooling and flashing that would just be stunning. The next one I'm going to use actually is like that and I can't wait. So I have a feeling I'm going to make a ton of these because so easy to wear. The other day I was leaving the house. And I was like, oh, I just want to wear something. But you guys know I'm in Texas for the winter and it's hot down here. I don't care that it's January. It's hot in Texas. And I'm like, I can't wear something bulky. Blah, blah, blah. I just grabbed this and threw this on and it fits wonderfully. I almost don't feel it on me. It is super comfortable and it's stunning. Uh, my husband loved it when I finished it. My friend loves it. Oh, it's so, so pretty. I love it so much. I will absolutely be making more. I will, however, be weighing properly so that I don't have this little leftover. This guy's okay, though, because I'm going to use it for something else someday. But I will make sure to... I want to use it all of the skein. I love the fact that you can literally put every little bit of yarn into this and you don't have, like, 50 grams left over or something. You've got this whole beautiful cowl. I love it. I'm a big fan of it. So I cannot recommend it enough. Like I said, uh, if you are new to knitting and you don't mind the rolling, like where you don't, where you wouldn't do the stockinette, so it would just kind of curl in on itself. If you don't mind that, then this would absolutely be a wonderful starter pattern for you because you're just knitting. There's no, if you don't do the ribbing, there's no purling. Just go around and around and around. And by the time you get done, you'd be super comfortable. And okay, let me tell you guys a little secret too, because I'm not as perfect as I think I am. My stitches, there was wonky stitches everywhere, and some were looser, some were tighter. It looked really wonky, but you know what fixed it? Blocking. You guys have to block your knits. Have to. And it's great for crochet too, but have to block your knits. This thing was kind of, I had stitches everywhere. I was like, ooh. This is not the best thing I've ever done. I put it in the water. I let it soak. I laid it flat to dry. And all of the stitches just evened out and looked stunning. So if you are a beginner, I would totally recommend this. Even if you want to 
tackle the ribbing. It's not that hard. Knit two, purl two. Knit two, purl two. By the time you get done with your first ribbing, you'll be a pro at purling. And when you're done, you will have a stunning cowl that everybody will love. Everybody who has seen this has told me how pretty it is. And it's funny because like I said, these reds and blues and stuff, not my colors, but I think they look great on me. What do you guys think? Do I look stunning? No, I'm just kidding. I'm fishing for compliments. Darling, do I look stunning? Absolutely gorgeous. He said absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> oh, I have him trained well. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, like I said, cannot recommend this pattern enough. It will be linked down below. You should totally check it out. And if you're into making hats, I would recommend the hat because you're supposed to use one whole skein for the hat too. So I'm not into hats. I don't wear hats. But anyhow, I'm going to get out of here, guys. Bye.